Hi guys, it's Seth and welcome back to my channel. Now today's video we're doing a Primark haul. You can see the bag here. I got a lot of stuff and I'm really excited. Oh my gosh, this is heavy. I'm really excited to show you guys all the stuff I got. I saw a lot of people doing hauls on Primark of January 2022 and what's new in and on TikTok and I had to get stuff. I always feel like my Primark is never as good as like what the other people show though. Like my Primark seems so like basic. I couldn't even find some of the stuff I actually wanted to get but I still got some other stuff and I got one thing that I haven't seen anyone talk about yet. Which I'm surprised because it looks so good. So yeah, let me just get straight into it. Okay, so the first thing I got is from the pajama section actually. I was kind of thinking you don't have to wear this as oh you don't have to wear this as pajamas. I feel like you probably could kind of wear this as like a a night out top or like a dressy top but anyways it's this. Now I'm not sure if it's gonna fit or not and I did accidentally get extra extra small but it was quite it does look quite like a loose fit, so it probably will be fine. But normally I get the extra small because Primark size isn't a bit weird. So yeah, I got this. It's kind of like a camisole and it's got lace in the front. It's very cute. And this is meant to be like a pyjama nighty kind of thing. And this was only £6, I think. Yeah, only £6 for this. So really cheap. So this is like the pyjama top, but honestly you can wear it as like a normal top as well. And it's pretty cute. So it's like this kind of satiny feel for it. It's very like smooth and soft. And they did have matching trousers with it as well. But um... But yeah, I didn't think to get those. I feel like if you want to dress up for bed, then this is like a cute top. They had like a lot of other cute kind of satiny tops and other just cute outfits for like sleeping. <laughs> it sounds weird to say outfit. They had other cute like pajamas and like lingerie sets and stuff. So yeah, especially because Valentine's Day is coming up as well. And I definitely want to do like a Valentine's Day outfit. So I know it's like sidetracking. I'm definitely going to be doing an Opoly haul for Valentine's Day. So I'm so excited for that because they have some really cute stuff. Oh, okay. So I guess the theme of like sleepwear. I got these slippers. These are so cute. I really like them. They're very furry inside and I've been needing slippers as well because my kitchen, the floor, the tiles are so cold, like freezing cold and I feel like I always have cold feet as well so I just wanted to have slippers where this bit was quite hard, like a hard sole because I have these slippers, what I'm wearing right now and this is actually from Primark and look how cute they are. They are so cute. The cutest little slippers I've got but the, the sole isn't hard enough. It's quite like flimsy but you can see here so it does still get... um. So yeah, let me put that back on. <laughs> so it does still get cold when I'm like on the tile floor. The cold just starts seeping through the material and stuff. So yeah, I just, I can't, I can't hack it anymore. So I've got these. And these kind of remind me of like grandma slippers, but I think they're really cute and I like the color. They had this in black as well. And I think the black did look really cool, but they didn't have my size. So I just got these instead. And these say size seven to, to eight large, but they're not. Like, they're definitely smaller than what they are. And also, these are memory foams. I think they kind of, like, are meant to shape your foot a bit. So, it's meant to be, like, kind of good for your feet. But, yeah, very excited for these. I got this. And this was only £4. This is why I love Primark. Primark is just so good for just the essentials that you need. And you don't have to spend a ton of money on it. So, yeah, got this for four quid. Good slippers. Also, I got what I feel like everyone's been speaking about. And it's the dupes for the Uggs. Now look how freaking cute these are. Once I saw some people wear them, at first I was like, oh, they're cute, but there's no way I'm gonna pay like that much money for Uggs. I'm just not gonna do that. But then I saw people talking about how Primark has these dupes and I was like, oh my God, I need them. And the price, guess the price. Guess how much these are. The deeper, yeah, I think the Uggs are like 125 or something like that. I did Google it. I think it was around that price, which is just insane. But this, six pounds, 86, oh. I can attack him off, but it is six pounds. That is so cheap for like shoes in general. It's just so good. So yeah, I got the color in this like tan kind of color. They also had this in a black and I think in a chocolate color as well. But I thought these were quite nice, kind of like classic as well. So I'm really excited to have these. Um, yeah, I really like the size of it. It's like the ultra short like Uggs and I think they look so cute. So I'm really excited to wear these. I actually remember back in the day, I feel like in high school for me, which is like kind of a while ago now, but I remember everyone that loved Uggs. Yeah, I remember that being really popular in school and like in year seven or year eight, I want to say, and I never got them. Yeah, Uggs are expensive, so I couldn't really afford to be buying Uggs like that. And also I just, I didn't want to. Um, but then I remember a lot of the girls wearing the Primark ones because they always had dupes. So I feel like Primark's been having dupes for them. To be fair, this actually looks really good quality it feels quite like sturdy so hopefully these um actually last quite a while um but yeah for six quid like you can't go wrong that's so good so yeah i actually got this in a size six right i'm which d does fit but i think it it's a bit too tight so i think i'm just gonna get a size seven because i want them to be comfy also follow me on instagram and i'll definitely have pictures up of like the things i'm wearing off primark and just like other stuff in general my instagram is saf.ellis 
Okay, so the next two things I got, it's just the same, so I thought I'd show you both together, but I just got their long sleeve black and then long sleeve white tops because they're needed. Like, I haven't got, like, any long sleeve except for the last Primark haul. Oh, I actually have this here. And this is another thing I got from Primark, like, ages ago. I think I vlogged that. And it's the same thing. It's long sleeve and it's just a plain brown top. And I just love the colour of this so much. It's so nice. And I got this in a... And I got it in an extra small. So, yeah, I got this again for the white. And I thought the white could go really nice with this because I don't have, like, a white T-shirt. I think this would be good to go, like, underneath jumpers and just in general. So I got this and size extra small. And I also got this in black because I do not have this in black either in size extra small. So, yeah, excited to just have those two basics. Also, the price, £3.50, super cheap. Okay, so for the white shirt, I feel like it is a bit see-through, but it's not too deep. And I am wearing a black bra, so I just wouldn't wear a black bra. Even though I feel like I don't have any other coloured bras, but yeah. I feel like if you kind of wear more like your skin tone or a white one, then it'll be fine. But I'm kind of using this as a layering piece anyway, so I feel like it's fine for me. And yeah, the black one just fits like this, but obviously it's just black. The last two things I got is this top. Now, I wasn't too sure about it, but I kind of just picked it up anyways. Because it's only £8, so I thought try it still. I love trying stuff in the changing rooms, but this time I couldn't. So I'm going to have to try this on and see if, like, what I have to return. Looking at it now, I kind of feel like I might return this. But yeah, anyways, I'll try it on and see what that looks like. So here's the other top. Now, this is a bit see-through as well, so I don't know how I fully feel about keeping this. But I think if I just had, like, a better bra on, then it'll be okay. But it's actually quite cute. It's cuter than what I thought it would be. But yeah, I do quite like the design of the buttons and the rouginess. But I don't know, the quality of this one doesn't... I don't know, it's just not as good as the other stuff, I think. And I also got these. Now, this is the item I was talking about that I haven't heard anyone speak about it. They fit so nicely. Now, they have a lot of buttons to it, which kind of reminds me of, like, men's jeans. So, loads of buttons, but it's one of those jeans where it's asymmetrical. So, let me drop the button so you can see what I'm talking about. Yeah, so it looks like that. And it's only, like, slightly asymmetrical. And before, not gonna lie, I saw other people wearing it. And I was kind of like, mm. It just looks so off-centred and weird. But the more I've been seeing it, the more I like it. And I think of this is called, yeah, Dad Jeans High Waisted. Now, the only thing about this is it is a bit pricey, especially for Primark. It's £19, which I feel like, to be fair, I haven't bought jeans in a while. So, I can't really fully remember. But I feel like £19 is... is 90 pounds is spenny so i hope the quality is good because it does feel good and i feel like it will last like especially for primark this quality does look quite good so as long as it lasts then i'm willing to pay more but it's just if it like you know breaks and falls apart then that's annoying but this is also made using recyclable cotton so that's good so i don't know if maybe that's why it's more expensive but yeah the fit though the fit is nice i'm not gonna lie i like the fit the fit looks really good so yeah i think because oh, i wasn't even i wanted to just get them on a whim but obviously try them on first and then i was kind of thinking oh you know i'm gonna return it so it's okay i'll save my 19 pounds but then after trying this on i was like oh no this is cute i really want to keep it so yeah this is what it looks like and it has a tiny like split hem at the bottom but yeah it's really cute but then i'm also like oh my gosh i have like about five pairs of jeans in this exact color do i need this Tell me what you guys think. Do you think I should keep it or not? I think it looks really cute. What do you guys think of that vertical, asymmetrical kind of jeans? Do you think it's cute or do you think it looks a bit odd? Um, also, I got this in a size 10 and it fits nicely. It's kind of like a bit baggy around the waist, but I quite like that look. And I feel like it goes with the, the jeans to be a bit baggy. So, yeah. And that is the last thing that I got. Okay, so tucking this off a bit so you can see the trousers. But I just love the fit of them. I think it looks quite cute. Let me take... Let me take that off. But yeah, the trousers look like this. You can see, and they come quite like, um, they're quite long as well. I'm five foot seven, and they're like touching the floor. Split hem, you can see there. Um, and yeah, I do like the fit of them. I think I think the fit is nice. It's kind of like that baggy kind of fit to it. And um, the back looks like this as well. And the quality just feels really nice. It's kind of like that proper jean quality, if that makes sense. So yeah, I'm still deciding whether to keep these or not, because they are 19 pounds. But yeah, I don't know if I can tell if, I don't know if on camera it looks as good as in real life as well. But I think in real life it does look quite cute. 
So yeah, I hope you enjoyed that Primark haul. I feel like I got a couple of cute things, but not gonna lie, it was kind of difficult to find the cute things. I feel like there wasn't a lot happening in Primark, or not, at least not in my local Primark. I feel like other people's Primarks always seem way better, but yeah, maybe I need to venture out and go to like a really big one in like Oxford Street in London or something, even though that is just a bit of a trek. But anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, then please give it a huge thumbs up and subscribe if you wanna see more videos from me. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.